Hey everybody, here's a garden update as well as to share some sad news with all the folks who watch my channel here. Uh, it's been about a month already, but uh, I uh, lost my wife. Uh, she passed away. It was completely uh, unexpected and very sudden, you know, uh, basically it's one of those things where in the morning I'm talking to her and she's fine. And she was in a room watching TV, doing her thing. I was in the other room working. And then after a couple hours, when I was finished with my work, I went to see where she was at and check on her. And she was gone. It was just that fast. Something happened within those couple hours where when I found her, you know, it was it was like it was like those cartoons that you see of Snow White or Sleeping Beauty, just lying there straight on the bed and that was it it uh was just completely a shock and something that i don't wish anybody would ever uh have to go through and experience as that's something that is 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 one of the worst things i think that you can experience so uh yeah i mean it's uh you know it's one of those things we were we were married for 30 years. Uh, she was only 51. She was young. Uh, no outward signs of anything. We still don't know what happened. We're still waiting for more paperwork and, and information to come through to tell us what happened. How did it happen? The only thing we can hopefully maybe derive is that it was sudden and painless and when the like if it was one of those things where when people say, how do you want to pass in your sleep kind of thing, you know, hopefully it was from all indications, it had to be something like that, which is some comfort, but you know, what do, what do you do now uh, when you lose your soulmate like that? I mean, it's a cliche that people say that all the time, but when you're married 30 years, you mean you, you complete each other's thoughts and sentences and everything that you do, you know, was a together, you know. And one of the things that we loved was our garden. That's why I have the YouTube channel and I share the garden videos with you is because she loved gardening. And she thought it would be a good idea to show at least just our family what we were doing because we talked about it all the time. But what better way but to video your garden so that your family knows what you're doing and you know it's nice that other people have also subscribed to the channel and they find it interesting what we've been doing in our garden for all these last couple of years and and i'm glad people find that interesting you know neither me nor my wife would always be in the videos most mostly you see the garden uh, you know i i didn't necessarily want it to be about us and you know the kind of the division of labor was i do the dirty work the planting the digging around in the mud and she did the fun work which was the harvesting and of course the eating so you know you never much saw my wife in any of the videos either she was shy she didn't like to to be on on camera anyways um we uh met 30 years ago uh, i was a student in the ukraine after college, after my line of study here at the university, I went to the Ukraine when it was still the Cold War and still the Soviet Union and whatnot. But I was there in Kiev in the Ukraine and we met there that fall. And by the spring, you know, after knowing each other for six months, we got married and came back here. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of people at the time were like, oh, what are they doing getting married? It'll never work. It's, you know, the people think all sorts of things these days when, you know, you're marrying people from other countries and whatnot. But 30 years together, it worked. We kind of proved everybody wrong. We, we both, neither of us had anything, you know, no job, no nothing, just the support of family, immediate family. And we built a life together. We built the house together. We, you know, did everything that a husband and wife would normally do together uh you know and it's now it's it's a situation where you're by yourself you didn't ex you know when you know when it happens like that your whole life takes a turn what does it mean now to live on your own what does it mean now to do things and think things for yourself uh what is my purpose in life where do i go 
from here. I mean, it's 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 something that, you know, yes, friends and family can help, and and that's much appreciated and and that support. But as a person, what what do you do? Where do you go every every day? You're you're just thankful you make it through every day, you know. And that's kind of where we're at now is just kind trying to understand what it means to to live a life with the years that we have remaining and what do you make of it and what do you do and, and that kind of thing. So it's definitely a, a journey that uh, we didn't think we would be doing so, so suddenly and so soon. But if there's anything, the gardening is therapeutic. It, it always has been. It's a way of going out there and, and like meditation, letting your mind think freely and, and all that. So I might take comfort in doing still the garden. Now, of course, the garden is overgrown and at the other house and, 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 and a mess. It needs a lot of work. I've had neither the time nor the temperament to go out there and, and do it right now. But, you know, it, it has to be done here and I have to start doing something which would be good for me. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is something that, you know, with the, the figs here at my house where I'm at right now, um, you can see the fig trees have grown back. Let me show you that. You know, my back in February, we had a, a severe cold here, cold spell in Texas, and basically killed everything. Uh, and so we thought we lost the fig trees. And, you know, my wife, throughout these last couple months, as she's here at the sink and whatnot, she would be looking out the window and say, hey, look at the fig trees are growing back. Hey, look, they got little figs and whatnot. And so she was monitoring the growth and was happy that the trees have been growing. And, you know, she was looking forward to the day that, uh, you know, she'd be able to eat all those little figs that are on the tree. And, and there are a few figs out there that are ready to go now. So I'll go out and get them. But, uh, you know, it's something that, uh, you know, when you're with somebody for that long, you know, the old adage that if your wife's happy, you're happy and life is happy. And so now it's, you know, this whole different way of living and thinking and, you know, the quietness of everything around the house. Uh, I mean, I have work to keep me busy during the day, you know, but, uh, you know, it's the evenings and, and that part of the day where it's difficult, right? Uh, you hear things, you see things, everything's a constant reminder and memory and a conversation that you would have with that person. And, you know, it's just now, you know, trying to carry on with, you know, what what we're supposed to do now for the rest of our time here, which, you know, everything changes, your whole perspective, your whole priorities, everything changes. It's, you know, it's one of those things that, again, you know, lots of people have gone through, but, also, until it happens to you, you don't really think about the effects and what your life is like afterwards. So, anyways, I just wanted to share a little bit of that with you all uh, and, you know, kind of uh, get back into some of the things here that we're doing in gardening. Um, I'll go out now and pick some of the figs and, and get a few of them before the birds do because they usually try to get them before I can. But anyways, thank you again for watching and 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 seeing our videos thank you for allowing me to uh chat a little bit about my personal life uh and uh, uh hopefully we'll make more videos and you can still kind of see what we're doing and, and maybe learn from what we do both the good and the bad from a gardening perspective but anyways thank you very much and we will talk to you again soon here we go so looking out here you can see that some of the figs are still small and green, but look at these. These are ready to be picked. This one's ready. So they're starting to turn ripe now. So that is really tremendous that, you know, normally I would get figs in April. You know, this tree was very prolific. Uh, it was very mature. And let me get this one here and it would uh, produce figs very early and these trees over here were the, usually the later ones 
Uh, and they're, they're not as old as this fig tree here. So this one always produces early and quick. And here's another one down here. Look at that. I'm going to pick that. Uh, look at that. Here's your nice fig right there. So it's good to know that I didn't lose the tree at all. And in fact, it bounced right back and produces all these little figs, which we should have, you know, it's only the end of August. So that means we've still got a few weeks left for these to mature and pick them before it gets cold and they stop growing. So I definitely will have some figs this year. Yeah, I mean, these figs here, I would have given them to her as the first figs of the season. She would have loved, loved these because uh, they're always so sweet and tasty. So anyways, folks, just to give you an update of what we're doing here with my fig trees at this, at my house where the fig trees are. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get back into the swing of things and show you more of what I'm doing in the garden. Um, basically the garden at my mom's house the main garden is kind of gone to overgrown as you can imagine i haven't had the time nor the mental inclination to get out there and do the maintenance and the weeding and stuff like that so it's pretty much overgrown and i'm gonna have to clean that up a lot you'll you'll see that when i make some more videos but anyways at least over here at this house the fig trees growing and we got figs so thanks very much we'll be talking to you again